Hey, what's up you guys? In today's video, you're gonna learn how to color match two photos in Photoshop. This is a quick and great technique when creating Photoshop Composite. Are you ready to learn? So let's get started. Now that we are in Photoshop, I'm gonna teach you how to kind of like color match your subject with your background. So that way you can create a better composite in Photoshop. There's a lot of tricks um, involving highlights, contrast, color, hue, saturations, and everything. But um, in this case, I'm gonna teach you how to just like color match your subject, which in this case, I picked this dinosaur and I already have it silhouetted and then we're gonna match it with our background. And you see our background, it's kind of like a scene that it's nighttime, it's at the beach. Um, there's some sort of a hill here or whatever, like people and, and constructions or whatever, houses in there. And, and that's cool. I mean, uh, what are we gonna do is just like, try to match our subject, uh, in this case is the dinosaur, with the colors of the background. Um, so the first thing that you, we need to do is actually to create a curves uh, adjustment layer. So for that, we're gonna go down into our menu here and just click and select the curves adjustment layer. So as you can see here, you're gonna see the properties in, in there and this is selected, uh, which is the mask. And what we're gonna do is actually to, because we don't want it to this curves layer, we don't want it to affect everything, right? We just want this to affect the subject, which in this case is the dinosaur. So we're gonna reset this here and we're gonna just like hold option, alt in your PC. And just like you see that little, that little arrow with the little white square, we're gonna click on it. So that way we're gonna clip mask the top layer, which is the, the new adjustment layer we created, which is curves, to only the subject, which is the dinosaur. So if we now we go crazy about moving this up and up and down, we're gonna see that it only affects the, uh, the subject, which that's what we want. So we're gonna reset it again. And then once we have it selected, not the mask, but the actual, you know, the actual adjustment layer, and you see it, the focus, in there, we're gonna go into auto and we're gonna hold down option, alt on your PC and we're gonna click. And what this is gonna do is gonna pop up a, a new um, a new set of uh, options here. And what, what I like to do for doing this trick is just actually, we have different options here, as you can see. The one that I like uh, when I'm creating composite is just find dark and light colors. So we're gonna pick that one. And then from there, we're gonna click on the shadows, just one click. And then you're gonna look for the shadows of the background. So you're gonna go like, you're not gonna pick, I know this is, these are the, the shadows, but those are way too dark. So what we're gonna do is kind of like pick something in between, uh, something like about there. And then you can move things around here in the color uh, picker. Um, so that is kind of like our shadow. I think I'm good with that. Press OK. And then we're gonna go into our highlight. And then on the highlights, I won't recommend to pick the, whi the whitest or the lightest color in, in the backgrounds. Uh, so you pick something in between, something like, something like that, maybe something like this. You have to play around with your with your background and see like what what's the best uh, for this highlight. I think I, I probably would want something like a little lighter. Don't worry about the contrast. We're gonna take care of this uh, later on. So something about I don't know something about there. Then click OK. Then what you're gonna do once you have your shadows picked and also your highlights picked, uh, then just click OK. 
then you're going to get another pop up saying that if you want to save this target colors as default. Uh, most of the time, just click no because you don't want to save this for a, a future uh, composite that you're going to create. So just click no. Boom. And then what you're going to do here is actually uh, click on this line here and just, you know, drag it up and then create another one here, kind of like towards the bottom and then just like pull that in. So you can see the difference now. You can see, you can start playing around, like if it's way too dark, if it's like, this is way too drastic. So you want to just to kind of like blend in a little better. So that's kind of like, that's kind of nice. And then here you go like, maybe you want to do it a little bit darker. So just pull down a little. And that's pretty much it. Look how cool that looks. And then if you do a before and after, so before it looked look like this, and then after looks like that. So that's kind of like my technique for uh, color matching and it works amazing. This is just one of many of the tricks that you can use when you create in Photoshop Composite. This is straightforward, pretty quick, pretty easy. You can start playing with things around, like you can lower the opacity if you don't want this to be so dramatic. Like if I go, I don't know, probably a 50%, uh, 70%, maybe 86%, you can still see some of those colors um, in there. And then that's how you, how you actually create this amazing uh, composition. This is just a starting to color match your subject with your background. I hope you like this video. Please, if you, if you do, just give it a thumbs up. Like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And just share it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.